I just want to say how much I owe you for this honor. Thank you. It's we who are honored. We have to get together um, next week so we can talk about what it is you expect me to do. Only that you and Duke fulfill Julian's dream. We'll do our best. Now, um, about that personal matter, I, I need to leave. I've kept you too long. My apologies. I, I wouldn't go under normal circumstances, but this is a very close friend of ours, a ceremony for him. I understand completely. So go on, hurry up. Have a safe trip. Come back for the soup. <clears throat> Leave. Okay, I'll, I'll try and get on the next shuttle. All right. Talk about this at home. Shall we? Yeah, you better hurry. Go on. See you later. Good night. Victor, Anna and I will definitely try to live up to the honor you've bestowed on us. I know you will, but Anna tells me that you must honor a friend today. So listen, you better hurry. Our business go away. Okay. Thank you, I appreciate it. Duke, I have to talk uh, to you. Olivia, I don't have time to talk. No, I have to tell you something right well, now. Tell me quickly, please, would you? I can't tell you here. I have to tell Olivia, you Duke's in a hurry. He's got to get back to port, Charles. Whatever you have to say, you can say to me. No, no, I, I have to talk to you. Thank Duke. you. Excuse Duke, me. I need... Excuse me. You have something to say? How could you humiliate me like this? You told me all my life that, that the bosses would never accept a woman's leadership, and today you turn it over to somebody who doesn't know anything about it! To an outsider. You gave away my birthright. That's what it you did. It was never yours. Yes, it was. I've told you this simple fact over and over. You are my only surviving child. What I want for you is a different kind of a life. Oh, and that's how you show your love for me, by rewarding Anna Devane. Her name is Lavery. Lavery. Get it straight, Olivia. It's the same as Duke's. Devane, Lavery, she can't be trusted. You understand that? You will never speak in disrespect of a head of the family. Over and over, I have explained to you that you are my daughter, my only remaining child. What I want for you is a long and a happy life. I have given Anna a difficult and a very dangerous job. I would not give you the risks that go with the power that you want. You would not hear it from my lips. So it was necessary to, for me to make my wishes public, to make it impossible for you to ever expect a position within the family. So now, you may return to your own business. You'll leave the family alone. You'll leave Duke alone as well. Anna Lavery is now his partner in the family. And in his bed as well. Once and for all, you will leave them both alone. I'm very sorry, Olivia. I don't want you to hate me. But if the only way that I can express my love to you means that you must hate me, then I will accept that eight. are telling you have problems. Olivia. Is she in trouble? No. She's finally out of the way of trouble. But I will pay a heavy price for it. You care to talk about it? I've tried everything to save her from wanting to succeed me in the family. But she's willful and headstrong. After all these years and you still don't understand her. You think she's right. But she's my daughter. Of my children, she is the only one who is still living. Don't you, even you, understand? If she was my son, I wouldn't hesitate turning over the family to her. Demetra, she is my only child left. And now I have lost her. That might not be so. After today, she will have to give up her desire for my power. This day, I have stripped her of her pride in front of her. I made it clear to the other leaders that she is nothing in the organization. I have no idea you had to go so far. I thought you had a simple quarrel. But if you humiliated her, she's going to bear the grudge for a long time. I will not bury another child. If I have to occupy my own grave before I hear her forgiveness, that is a small price to pay. 
If you can't hear it from her, you're going to hear it from me. You're a fine father and a very good man. I am a man whose grief is chilling his heart. You are a man of honor. And this thing you have to do today shows the kind of courage that made me love you all these years. And now relax. Relax. Come on, come on, let go. Oh. Right, Rodolfo. Yes, Duke. Call the car and have it come round the front. Will you take to the airport? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, Rodolfo, come in. It's open. I told you I don't have time to talk. I've got to get home. I'm running late as it is. Excuse me. Hey, but listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened downstairs. I know how much you wanted to succeed your father. I wish there was something I could do to help. Hey, if it's any consolation, uh, neither Anna and I had any hint that your father was going to make that announcement. That's not important. What's important now is us. Okay, come here. Olivia, please, hey. Come on, there is no us. There never was any us. How can you say that after the night we spent together? Come here, look, don't talk about that night, please. I was drunk. I've already explained that. It was one of the stupidest things I've ever done. Please get that inside your head. I want nothing to do with you. Okay, forget about that night. <laughs> Olivia, listen, please. Hey, would you forget about it? Forget about me. I gotta go home now to my wife. Excuse me. Oh my God! Why well, don't you go your mind now? See, Olivia, I have never, I've never been yours. No, you can't say that. Please don't say that. But would you let me go, please? No, you... no, no. Duke, I'm begging you. Please, please don't leave me. I need you too much. Let me, I don't know what you're trying to achieve by this, but let me tell you, it's not gonna work. I need to put me right out of your mind. Excuse me, I gotta go home. No, Duke, I won't let you go. Not anymore. Oh, here he is, my handsome son. I thought I'd come down here and get a little ride with the heroes to the award ceremony. Mama. You don't mind, do you? Well, no, not about giving you a ride, but I just wish that you would quit referring to me as a hero. The only hero today is Frisco, all right? Well, Sugar, I know that. But you can't fault a mother for being proud of her son, can you? I'm just surprised that Lucy isn't here. Mm -hmm. To ride down with us, maybe she'll show up at the ceremony. Oh, I'm sure she'll be there. <laughs> you look great, by Thank the way. Thank you. It's a very nice outfit. Wow. Oh! Oh! <laughs> but isn't my favorite journalist? Wow, do you look gorgeous. Thank I'll you. I tell you, you're going to be easy to spot on that television set. <laughs> you mean you're not going to be there? I thought you were going to be covering it. Oh, it's not my beat. Besides, I have a lot of deadlines I have to make. I promise, though, I will be watching you on the tube, though. <laughs> okay? You guys have a great time. <laughs> Best that I just kind of escort you guys over there to make sure that the guests of honors get there on time. We have a very tight production schedule here. Uh, I, I also made some notes, so I wouldn't forget what to say, and I'd like for you to check them over. Well, if I can keep my eyes off of you, you look beautiful. Well, you can rehearse in the car. Come on, let's get going. Yeah, well, Colton, yeah. Yeah. I also figured out what I'm going to do with that hundred thousand dollars that I get with the award, and I'd like your opinion about it. Would you guys okay, please I'll... come on? All right, come we'll on. talk about it in the car. Come on. Doors.
sanctuary. I know. Okay. All right, Tony, I'll, I'll, I'll see you later. I'm just waiting for Sean now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'll see you at the ceremony. Oh, hang on. That's him now. Bye-bye. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, hi. Ooh, don't you look nice. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody ready to go? Well, I am. I just got to get these on. Oh, well, take your time. Where's Duke? Uh, he got held up in New York, but he will be here before the ceremony's over. Oh, good, good. Uh, Anna, before we go, could you uh, run that story about Prinella being a major jewel thief by me one more time? Well, I don't have anything to add. I told you what I know. <laughs> hard to believe, isn't it? Yeah, almost as hard to believe uh, you being the fence, too. Come on, don't get into that. It's complicated. That's part of the business. Well, yeah, but honey, it's, it's dangerous. If danger had ever bothered you or me, would we be in this business? Would Robert be in this business? Well, Robert is not exactly one of Duke's biggest fans these days, remember? No, but I am. And that's what's important. I'm very proud of him. And I love him a lot. Mm. You know, as soon as this business is over, then our life here will be just perfect. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Come on. Shall we? Yes. Mrs. L, you look smashing. Oh. I must say. Mm -hmm. Olivia, I'm really sorry that you're upset. I have to go. The car's waiting. No, no, do Please, I'm begging you. Please don't leave me. Oh, for God's sake, this is getting ridiculous. No, you don't understand. Don't throw me away. I can give you so much. Now, listen, there's nothing you've got that I want. There's nothing I've got that I want to give you. Forget about that knife, please. Do yourself a favor. Forget about me, would you? I can't. It's too late for that. Oh, listen, get up to you. No! Listen to me. Get this inside your head. Listen. What? Whatever happened that night is over. It meant nothing to me then, and it means nothing to me now, okay? As far as I'm concerned, the whole bloody thing did not happen. If it didn't happen, then why am I carrying your child? <laughs>